Hey guys, hi YouTube. As you guys can see, I'm coming here uh, sweaty again and looking kind of uh, messy. Um, so, as you guys know, I took my braids down several days back and I wanted to just show you guys how my hair is. And I'm really, really thinking about stretching for this whole October. And it's hard for me because um, that would make it almost a, one month and a half, or almost two, I, almost two without a relaxer and I'm so tempted but I'm gonna try this um, so right now I'm gonna show you guys my hair how it looks like I, I deep conditioned it a few days back uh, with effigy and all that and then I moisturize sealed and that's what I do daily or every two days I, I moisturize and seal so so far after taking the braids down I really noticed that my hair was doing well and I think it's because I was using several products if you see in the other the corner video, I, I listed the products I was using, and my hair was really moisturized when I took the braids down. That's something I didn't used to do before, and it really, my hair was dried out when I was taking them down. So right now, my hair has a lot of growth, especially in the front, and that was due to the um, the castor oil uh, that I was putting in in between the lines. So I'm going to show you guys the front here. See the thickness right here? This is all growth, you guys. So right there, and then I'm going to show you guys the back. Um, right there. So I can just feel it, it's like spongy right now. So that's showing me that there's a lot of growth in there. And I, it's gonna be difficult, you guys, to go for the whole month with it. This month with a, a relaxer. And right now I'm using that curly wig because it's really helping me kind of just, it blends really well with my hair like this condition. And I wanted to say that my edges did get a little weak, as you guys can see from the cornrows being kind of um, tight. And that's okay. I'm going to put castor oil and get it back into shape. So you guys can see see the nuts right there. Um, so one thing I also wanted to say, you guys, is I've had this product for a while in my um, drawer. And Tisa had it on her channel. And I got it, but when I used it on my relaxed hair, I didn't really like it. So I've been keeping it there for a while. But you guys, I just discovered how awesome this is for my hair when it's post-relaxer. I just put it on and see how smooth it is. Like, look at this. I moisturize and seal. Look at that. I can comb through my hair. So that is like good news, you guys, because I was so worried about how I'm going to maintain my hair while I'm post-relaxer, um, other than co-washing and all that stuff. But I think I can do it. So right now, these two products is all I'm using. Grapeseed oil from sealing and for moisturizing. And I'm going to buy a big one because this, this is nice, you guys. I didn't know that. Uh, it's just been sitting in my... Once in a while I use it, but now I'm really going to use it. So yes, I'm going to go for this whole month with just the hair not relaxed. And what I do is I do three, um, I separate into three sections because that's easier for me to take down the braids and kind of moisturize. I couldn't do cornrows because that takes me forever to take down and then to moisturize and seal. So I just really won't even bother with it. So yeah, I wanted to just show you guys. I'm just really impressed with here. I mean, look at this growth right here. This is growth. It's just from the castor oil. The back is not as thick because I didn't use too much castor oil. So that says a lot about castor oil. That's the bomb. Like, you guys have to try this product. The Jamaican one. Oh, my God. Awesome. I am sweating. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.